Hello, in this video, I'm going to walk you through this tutorial called Get to Know Selections. This is in the Adobe Learn tab right here. And so it's nice because we can both work off the same images. So this will come up and you're gonna hit Start Tutorial and it's gonna bring all these images up. Now they do have these blue uh, boxes that come up telling you what to do. I'm gonna walk you through it because it doesn't always show the exact right thing. It might point at the wrong thing and whatnot. But I'm gonna show you the same things it was going to show you. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab the rectangle tool here and I'm gonna click outside of it. Once I'm, oh, by the way, you also have to be on the fruit layer. Click outside of it and then drag in and you can see the selection then will start inside the image and go right to the edge. There we go. Now, once you have this, um, you can then apply a, an adjustment to it. So I'm gonna go over here to adjustments and hue and saturation. And you can see it's applying it just to this one square where it's white. And so if I click the adjustment layer here, I can change the saturation of it, make it black and white or even more colorful. But in this case, I'm gonna take the hue and I'm going to change the color of it. Let's make it not an orange, but rather a lemon. Awesome. All right, so there's many different selection tools. That's what this video is about. And if you click and hold, you can see polygonal lasso tool or lasso tool. They have different shapes you can use. You can select different objects, but let's try out the lasso tool. And the lasso tool is basically freehand. So I wanna make sure that I am on the fruit layer, lasso tool, and I'm gonna go around it without touching the blueberry here. And I now have my selection. Now to color it in, I'm gonna use my uh, eyedropper here and I'm gonna select this blue here and you'll see that blue up here, here and possibly up here as well. Now I'm gonna go up to edit and do fill as long as I'm on the right layer, I'm on the fruit layer. I do fill and it's gonna uh, maybe be on content to wear. We're gonna make sure it's on foreground color and that's that color that we selected and hit okay, okay and it'll fill it in. Now let's go to more of the, the fun ones here. There's object selection, quick select and whatever else. So let's try object selection. And for this one, I'm gonna select the bull now. Oh, by the way, there are these dancing ants still going around. To deselect, you can go up to select, deselect, or like the shortcut shows, you can just hit control D as well. All right, back to the bull. Um, I'm gonna click and drag, and I want to select the fruit. And not so much the bull, not so much the background, but the fruit, and let it think for a second. And you're gonna see these colors pop up, but you can see the dancing ants are going around this. Now, if that's all the fruit I wanted, that'd be fine, but I want the other fruit as well. So I'm gonna hold down shift, and this is going, and then I can click and drag here, and it's also going to add this fruit. Now I see the ants going around there. You can ignore this pink stuff, by the way. That's just basically if you want to grab a subgroup of this selection. And I'm going to hold on shift again, and I'm going to select the fruit over here as well. So I actually selected three times, and you can see now that the dancing ants are going around. The fruit in the bowl and the fruit not in the bowl. Uh, once I do that, and I'm on a bowl layer here, I'm gonna go up to adjustments, and I'm gonna do, go to brightness and contrast, and it's only gonna apply that brightness to contrast because of this layer here, this uh, mask, it's only gonna apply it to the fruit there. So when I change the brightness, it doesn't affect the bowl, it only affects the fruit. So I'm just gonna go like, uh, I don't know, plus 20 or 30, something like that, make it stand out a little more. Perfect. All right, that looks pretty good. Uh, now let's go to the boy layer here and we're gonna do something really different instead of even using the selection tool uh, We're gonna go up to well, let me show you two ways if they click and drag There's a magic wand tool I can use and for that if I'm on that boy layer I can select and it'll grab all of the orange But you can see there's some orange in here as well So I could hold down shift for example and then grab that orange as well But you can see it's kind of getting on the orange here and stuff So it's not perfectly clean, but that'd be one way to take care of it. I'm gonna hit uh, Control D though and deselect that. Instead, I'm gonna go up to the layer here and do select and you can choose subject. Now, the reason it's able to grab this boy is because on this layer, that's where the boy is and it's not looking at anything else. That did a really good job, did even a better job with the uh, edge of that orange there too, all right? Now with that boy there, we can go to adjustments and we could go to, for example, color balance and maybe we don't like the color that he looks, maybe it's not quite natural, so I can go a little more blue or a little more orange or yellow, I mean. And I think we can probably adjust that 25. That's more of a regular skin tone there. And you can see the difference by turning this eyeball on and off to see the difference, but that looks pretty good. So we were able to make lots of different selections and apply different adjustment layers to them. Hopefully you learned a lot from that. And if you want to follow tutorials on these other three, look in the playlist and good luck. Thank you.